So are you going to be the star of the show now? Maria. This is Marie. She doesn't often come into a video, but this is Claude's sister. Not as very talkative, but still. Shall we start now, Maria? Well, Lion will find you a job. I know he will. And honey, let's face it. All I know how to do is take off my clothes. Hi, I'm Gabby, and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition, where Marie decided to depart from the video. She's not as active as Claude, and she's not been too well, but that's another story, but she's okay. But anyway, let's get back to the final instalment of my lotions and potions. I haven't got a lot here. It's not going to be as long as the other video is, and my eye is itching like anything. I don't know why. Hopefully, I won't start sneezing in this video. Right, so let's start. So if you've seen the first three parts, which was a mammoth of videos, which is about over two hours long, then please go and watch those videos. I'll put their links in the description box below. This is part four. So this is all about Selection of my Bath and Body Works, well, all of my Bath and Body Works, the small collection I have, plus a small collection of my creams and potions that I layer and get full efficacy from my perfume. Let's start with the lotions. Let's start with the body lotions and body creams. So first one I have is this small one here, which is Twilly Hermes, the original one, and my cat, Electra. There's a good girl. It's got to, I've got to watch my cats, especially from my perfumes. Anyway, Twilly Hermes. This is just like it says. It is tuberose and ginger. And I got this in a little gift box. Sometimes I use it as a hand cream just to scent my hands, which feels ever so nice. And it layers. So any lotion, any cream, anything you layer, your perfume will radiate more, potentially. You'll have more projection hopefully more longevity hopefully and that's what we want especially out of today's formulas let's face it because even on a moisturized skin well moisturized a non-dry a skin that isn't dry perfumes still don't perform today some perfumes compared to yesteryear so Twilly Hermes that's a little one there I also have two of these I have two little pure poison lotions this this is really nice i got these in the kit as well these these are really good um just to layer with if you want or you can layer the you can layer this um lotion with any other scent which has a profile to pure poison i'm just going to check my mic yes my mic is still working because i did a whole video once recently and the mic did not work but anyway Pure Poison. So I have two of those. And I also have this, which is by the um, Layering Lab Superdrug Blossom. It reminds me a little bit of Alien Vibes, original Alien Vibes. Um, I had this when I was working at Superdrug during the pandemic. So I haven't really used a lot of it, really. I should really to layer with alien it's a very very good if you can still get it it's a very good scent to layer with alien or alien-esque type scents from Moogla speaking of Moogla I have angel the body lotion here which is really really lovely so if you want to get full projection then do layer with the body lotion you can get the original body lotion which is in a big bottle and the cream but they sell them at extortionate prices on ebay if you find one snap it up because once i nearly got one at a good deal and i lost out it wasn't on an auction but i lost out to it so but this nevertheless angel by moogler so the next one i have is dahlia noir this body lotion here i got in the kit Again, it's got that soft powderiness, gothic powderiness there from 
the rose from the patchouli. There's mimosa in there. There's a bit of tonka bean to give a bit of sweetness as well. So I do layer with that one. Another one I have here is Soir Dorient by Sisley. This uh, I will only wear, as I said, autumn, winter, Christmas. It's along the lines of that kind of rose oud feel, but it's so refined. It's so elegant. It's so classy. And I love that. Yes, I am by Cacharel. All of these lotions, really, and body creams I got in gift sets because, oh, do you know what? This, I'm addicted to Yes, I Am by Cacharel. I need to get this in bigger body lotions. This with the Yes, I Am perfume. Oh, the raspberry, the, the fluffiness, the everything about it. And I see it in my cupboard just over there looking at me beckoning to me please spray me mummy please spray me another day darling another day yes that's how i talk to my perfumes they are like little babies my eye is watering i'm okay but yeah if you can get your hands on it it's beautiful so the next one we have is euphoria by calvin klein again i got in another gift set this is woody, pomegranate. Oops, I nearly lost the camera then. Lots of berry goodness. I like to layer up with that. And then this one here, Isimiyaki by, well, Isimiyaki. This is a very light, light scent though. So even after I've applied this within 10 minutes the scent has gone so it's nice and hydrating i just use it as a hand cream as and when i can and then finally i have this one here my midnight poison which is in a big bottle which yeah is as you know beautiful to layer rose orange patchouli it's it's a very unctuous cream. It's very decadent, very sublime. I love that. So those are my lotions and creams from that I use to layer with. Now, another layering. Obviously, this is my favorite moisturizer, which I have about four or five of these backups because I got them in bulk. I don't know if you can still get them, but Vaseline Intensive Care Deep Moisture. This is the most it's the best moisturiser for dry to severely dry skin. Now, I don't have severely dry. I have normal to dry. But if your skin is severely dry, this leaves a layered veil of sheer moisture. And it's a perfect base for any fragrance. And it is unscented. And I love it. So Vaseline Intensive Care Deep Moisture. Vaseline Jelly Cream. It is stunning. And as I say, I've got four more of these. Yeah, that's how I love it. So those are all my lotions and creams from there. Now let's go to my body sprays and anything else that will increase longevity and projection with your perfumes. So if you're looking at number two, Ambroxan, that's really good to really, this I got off Amazon. And it, I only, it's a little bit of a woody smell on me, but I feel I don't really use this one as much as I'd use the Zero One. This gives brilliant projection. body sprays. Now, I did have Lush Perfumes in this name, but I now have it in a body spray. It's Calicus or Calacus. This has been discontinued. It's got this kind of lime. Yeah, Neroli, you have to like Neroli with Olibanum, which is like frankincense. It's divine and it gets me lots of compliments. So if you can still get this, go ahead and buy it. Perfect. And then this to layer with if I want some more fruitiness, more sweetness, but more fruitiness. Big Pony number two. On its own doesn't last very long, but layered with another fragrance. If you've got a sweet fragrance, this really is very good. If, or if you've got a fragrance that isn't as sweet, you can use that as well. 
Moving on to a body oil now. I have here, which I don't know if you can get, Gucci Guilty body oil. Spray this body oil. It is devouring. It has the cypress. It has patchouli. And even the body oil on its own is amazing. If you can get it, use it. Now, I have here a little dusting powder that I got in a set, which I very, very rarely use. Oh, it is by Christian Dior, and it is my beloved Tender Poison. I sometimes use this at night just to, you know, I feel like I'm sitting in my boudoir, you know, putting it on and then putting Tender Poison over this or... Any, put any perfume over this. This is, my nose is really itching. This is sublime. It's oh, I just, let's face it. I mean, look at the beautiful bow. They don't make perfumes like this anymore. They really don't. It's just, oh, it smells heavenly smells heavenly and yeah i know it's telk isn't it they're probably saying oh telk does this and telk does that now you know like they all are nowadays but there we go so just looking at my cat my cats are in a very mischievous mode today marie what are you doing there claude let's move on to bath and body works but before we move on to bath and body works let's move on to the one i have which is by victoria's secret coconut passion i have spoken about this before it's like a caramelized coconut very very sweet um on this on its own this is a bit of a beast but layer over i sometimes layer this over hypnotic poison or i layer over other sweet scents of open that i've got many or if you've got scents that aren't as sweet this will give it a real caramelized coconut kick now moving on to the one two three four five six seven eight i only have eight from bath and body works but these i sometimes use on their own or i do layer with now this one plumeria by bath and body works these are body mists yeah, it can smell a bit synthetic, but I love to layer this over any frangipani or tropical floral tiare frangipani scents. This layered over La Dompteuse en Cage by Serge Lutens. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. The next one, Almond Blossom. This, this is almond this actually is beautiful layered over hypnotic poison or layered over any other sweet scents that you love it's an almond blossom in there and you've got vanilla and cashmere and musk in there so that's a really lovely one i don't sometimes i do wear that on its own sometimes when i'm going to bed i will wear the bath and body works to bed if i just want not a strong scent but layered with other scents, practice with it. You know, I've I've even layered this over um, J'adore by Dior to give it more of a a sweet almondy scent. This one, this next one, I do love as well. This is Champagne Rose. This layered over any other rose based scent. If you or if you want to give a bit more of a kick with Rose, um, I actually do layer this with Yves by Yves Saint Laurent as well. It's really lovely. And it's got this kind of like effervescent champagne note combined with the rose. Now this one, my beloved Enchanted Candy Potion. I do layer with Angel, the original one, or you can layer with the Eau de Toilette as well. This has spellbinding sugar bewitched berries and whipped pixie dust this is a beautiful sweet scent and yeah i absolutely love it the next one is one in a million now this is probably out of all the ones i own 
the least projecting, the least lasting. And I thought it would be. A bit of a disappointment this was. This has, I thought it was going to be lovely because these notes, jasmine extract, tuberose oil, white gardenia, not fond of gardenia, but I'm okay with that, pink pepper and cashmere and musk. The pink pepper lasts for literally about 20 seconds, if that. And then you've got a fleeting, a fleeting of florals of your jasmine and your tuberose. And it's a very clean scent. This is, if you want to feel clean, this is the scent to go for. But I advise if you just layer this on its own, you're only going to get probably about 20 minutes lasting power on it. I kid you not. Layered with any creams or with any other scents, obviously it will last a bit longer. So one in a million. Moving on, we have Pastel Skies. Now, this is another sweet scent, which I absolutely love. This has soft cloud berries, pink spun sugar and coconut musk. I feel there is a bit of a coconut vibe going on, but it's not as coconutty as Victoria Blossom's Coconut Passion. This is a toned down version of this. This is not too sweet this is sweeter the enchanted candy potion but this is fairly sweet but i think i like to layer this over a lot of my different perfumes because it gives just a little bit more fluffiness to a perfume if you've got some scents that are not as fluffy and you want to make them more fluffier then pastel skies is a good one to use. The next one I have, the penultimate one, is Misty Morning by Bath and Body Works. Now, I only got this recently, but this is one of my, I love this. This is a strong scent. This has Lily of the Valley, green tea and white amber. Now, layered over any other lily of the valley scents oh you get a chorus of angels or any other white floral scents this isn't screechy i find this is ethereal this is pretty it's it makes me feel a bit more confident um i, I just absolutely love it and in my next video which will be a perfume haul yes a haul i have one two three four five six seven new perfumes to talk about yes yes wonderful i know so and literally one arrived this morning oh my god you wait till i talk about it it's it's affordable you can buy it in a big size yes electra yes darling i know see that's my little girl if you could hear her electra She's queen of the Nile, aren't you? Electra. Yeah. But she's not a lap cat. She's, she will just sit by me, my Turkish fan, won't you? But yeah, let's get back to this. This, I love it so much. Layered. And then with a fragrance of your choice. I would layer this with more of your floral amber scents or your scents that have a little bit of spice to them but with the florals a floral aspect in not too much of a gourmand scent just something to give it a bit more of an edge a bit more yeah this and do you know what these bath and body work body creams i haven't tried the lotions but the creams they are good they i love them I really do love them, and I don't know what else I can say about it. It's just, it, feel, it leaves your skin feeling smooth, replenished, revived, and it, you know, is a good pep up. So, yes, Misty Morning, if you can, get your hands on it. And finally, the last one I have, which is... I'm not sure if you can get hold of any more, but you you can if you still look. Is Fairy Tale by Bath and Body Works. This this is a lovely orange blossom scent with a bit of pomegranate nectar 
and vanilla bean and warm amber. This layered over pure poison is perfect. And I've heard people talk about this. This, this is like very, very similar to Lieb by YSL. I've smelt that. I would say it's nowhere near like that. But combined with the body cream as well, these two are a... Oh, they're a match made in heaven. And again, good longevity. These Enchanted Candy Potion, Fairy Tale, Misty Morning, which is here, and Pastel Skies. They do last quite long. I would say One in a Million, Almond Blossom, and no, Plumeria, that does last quite a long time. But Almond Blossom and One in a Million, they're not as long lasting. But this combined with any other perfume, layer, just try it. Just, you know, I mean, these are mists. These are, oh my God, this isn't, these aren't ones that I go to just to like spritz and this is my signature scent. These, I treat these as accessories to my children. They are guardians. They look after my children. Yes, that's how I view my perfumes and I will not apologise for it. So, we come to an end. That's it. See, I don't have a big selection of my, perf my like body creams and that because I this number one hero product, this will just make your perfumes project and last so much longer and I don't really like to use the neat Vaseline if I can sometimes I might if I just want to do it but the Vaseline intensive care deep moisture jelly cream works a notch it takes the game up it literally so does you've been watching another edition of the fragrantition if you've liked this series give it a big thumbs up and if you like me even more, if you like the unconventional style that I present perfumes, then subscribe if you want to. It's absolutely up to you. It's free. So there we go. Till next time, I will see you in the next video. And as I always, always say, if you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful, don't get caught is my motto. Till the next time. Bye for now.